news today, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is coming to Mobile for a campaign stop. News 5's Alan Carter has been following the story since it broke this afternoon and joins us now live in the newsroom. Alan, news about this got out quickly. That's right, Roseanne, and typically at this point of the campaign season, Alabama's not on the forefront of candidates' minds, but before the first caucus is held, Donald Trump will officially be coming here to Alabama, specifically Mobile. It's happening this Friday, and it, as you said, it appears that this event developed quickly. We got just four days' notice from an anonymous source before we were able to confirm it with the Civic Center that this event was indeed happening. Now, not a lot of people knew about this, including Republican leadership here in Mobile. But I hadn't heard, and I was hoping they would, that his campaign would have reached out to our local party prior to making any kind of personal appearance so we could at least let all of our membership know. Yeah, I hope Mr. Trump does have a good turnout Friday night, and I hope it's, uh, it's good for Mobile and uh, Mobile County, and I hope uh, we get some good, good notoriety for this area out of, the whole, out of his whole visit. Now, we've gotten emails. The Civic Center says they've gotten phone calls, but if you want tickets, you need to go to this website, eventbrite.com. You can get a link and get your own tickets by going to our website, wkrg.com. No word yet on how many tickets are available. Putting live in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5. Thank you, Alan. As we mentioned, the Mobile Civic Center will be hosting the town hall slash pep rally. Now, it can seat fewer than 2,000 people in the theater, so you'll need to get your tickets quickly. We all know Trump can draw a crowd and has many supporters nationwide. Of course, we wanted to know what your thoughts were on Donald Trump coming to Mobile. Here's what some of you had to say. Donald Trump coming to Mobile actually frightens me a little bit um, when you're looking at somebody to be the president of the United States. I really want somebody that has a modicum of decorum, a little more finesse than what he has, and so I know a lot of people like him for his bluntness and his boldness, but it's not something I'm looking for in a president. Donald Trump will not consider the, the, the moral standpoint of most of the people in our area, and he'll, he'll bring in things that we, we generally by our nature don't want. I don't think he's actually going to uh, do anything for the economy here in Alabama. I think he's only for the, the rich Americans. It's just another show that he does. You know, you, it, maybe he'll make another reality show, you know, off of this. Since his coming out party at the Republican debate, Trump has focused on the early primary states of Iowa and New Hampshire, where he has been a hot ticket. News 5's J.B. Buno joins us now live in the Web Center. J.B., Trump is now looking to bring that momentum into Mobile. Oh, and he will, Roseanne. Trump is like a media magnet. Everywhere he goes, he's bombarded by cameras. In the media circus, it will continue on Friday. We're told more than 100 national and international journalists are with Trump on his campaign, set to descend on Mobile. Mobile, Alabama. But even more so than that, enormous crowds of voters flock to Trump wherever he goes. This is video from Iowa where Trump received rock star treatment at the state fair. So far, he's focused on the early primary states of Iowa and New Hampshire. But now, for his first major campaign stop outside of those states since the debate, he's coming to Mobile, Alabama, his first trip to the South. Why his team picked Mobile is still unclear. Our polls here at WKRG do show that he's very popular in Southern Alabama, and the Alabama GOP primary vote is on Super Tuesday, considered the key voting day on the Republican calendar. A final note here, like his stop in New Hampshire tomorrow, the event in Mobile is reportedly going to be in a town hall style, meaning that Trump will be fielding some questions from the audience. Roseanne, just imagine how entertaining that could prove to be. Trump free to speak his mind, answering all these different questions at Mobile Civic Center. Oh, yeah, he's pretty much free to speak his mind wherever he is. JB, any idea how quickly tickets are going? We have a poll up on WKRG.com. Roseanne, about 70 to 80 percent of people say they are interested in going. The tickets, as we last checked just a couple of minutes ago, they are still available. The link on WKRG.com right now. All right, good to know. Thank you so much, JB. A new CNN ORC poll shows Donald Trump as the clear leader among Republican presidential candidates. The survey shows 24% of registered Republicans back Trump. His nearest competitor, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, is a distant second at 13%. Retired neurosurgeon Ben Carson stands third at 9%. Trump is also winning more fans within the Republican Party. A new poll shows 58% of Republicans surveyed have a favorable view of Trump.
That's up from 50% last month. And you may remember we conducted an exclusive News 5 strategy poll last week asking Alabama Republicans which candidate they support. And our results closely match the CNN poll this week. 30% of Alabama Republicans support Trump, 15% back Jeb Bush, 11% want Ben Carson and Marco Rubio. 3,500 voters participated in our telephone poll. News 5 will provide complete coverage of Donald Trump's campaign stop in Mobile this Friday. Make sure to check our website, WKRG.com, our WKRG Facebook page, and our evening newscast for the latest information. Time